Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at another set of seven useful macOS tips that you might not know about. Our first tip has to do with custom keyboard commands. And some of you might not know, but you can actually create custom keyboard commands for use across specific applications, or in this example, across all applications. So in this example, say I'm writing an article in text edit and I need to pull a quote or text from another article. If you copy and paste using command V, the formatting and style of the text might be incredibly different as you can see here. Now, if we go into system preferences, keyboard, shortcuts, and then app shortcuts, from here, you can add a new shortcut by selecting the plus symbol, and then you can type the command that you want and the keyboard shortcut associated with it. For my keyboard shortcut, I wanted to replace standard paste with paste and match style, which is usually shift command V in most applications. Now for me personally, I'd rather always paste text and match style, so changing the default paste to this is a no brainer. Now when I copy and paste text from one article to another, it'll match the previous text in the document perfectly. Next up is a quick way to use the calculator in macOS. Traditionally, you might go into the Applications folder and then open up the Calculator app, or Launchpad, or maybe the Calculator widget, but there is actually a much faster way to type out some quick mathematic equations, and it has to do with Spotlight. To access Spotlight, simply type the Command Space Keyboard command, and then you can of course type out the Calculator app to open it up, but the cool part is you can actually just type out some basic math like 1 plus 1 or 23 times 23 for example, and Spotlight will give you the answer right there without having to actually open the Calculator app. If you have one of those long, crazy Wi-Fi passwords that your internet service provider made for you when they set it up, or simply forgot your password to your Wi-Fi network, there's actually an easy way to find out what it is. Simply use Spotlight by typing command space and search for keychain access. Once you have keychain access open, go to the system section under keychains on the left column and sort your kind column by name so that airport network password is your first option. From here, you'll see all of the Wi-Fi networks that you've connected to and to find out your Wi-Fi password, simply right click on the network and select copy password to clipboard. After you authenticate that it is you requesting the info, simply paste that information into a text document to see what the password is. The menu bar on a MacBook can be a valuable tool at times, but it can also be a waste of space. Just like your dock on the bottom of your screen, you don't always need access to it and you would like to hide it at times, so you can actually do the same thing with your menu bar by going into System Preferences, and under General, select the Automatically Show and Hide the menu bar, and your menu bar will quickly disappear, but if you hover your mouse at the top of your screen, you can have it reappear whenever you'd like. It's simple, but useful. For those rocking a 2016, 17, or 18 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar, this next tip is for you. If you don't have easy access to your escape key on your Touch Bar, you can actually use the Command Period Keyboard command, which will act as your escape key. So if you want to exit a full screen app, for example, and don't want to dig through your Touch Bar to find the actual escape key, just use this useful keyboard command. Our next tip is very simple, but again, very useful. If you want to adjust your volume into smaller fragments, like if you find an almost perfect level for volume, but one more press of the volume key might be a little too much, you can actually hold down shift and option and then press the volume key, and one volume level will now be broken into four smaller fragments, allowing you to fine tune your volume levels. The same keyboard command and concept also works with the display brightness too. Finally, our last tip has to do with switching between applications, and more specifically, switching between application windows. Most of you probably already know that Command Tab will allow you to switch between your open apps, but what about the scenario of having a ton of different Safari windows or email windows open, and you can't seem to find the right ones to switch back and forth to? To switch between your various app windows, simply press Command and the tilde key, located right above the Tab key. Now gone are the days of moving windows out of the way with your mouse to find the right application window. Let us know what you think of these tips and if you have any other useful tips to share with us down in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.